In this video, I just want to spend a couple of minutes talking about the profitability of overlimping. So what I did is I did the exact same analysis as I did with my ISO raising hands, and I looked at my win rate over a quarter of a million hands. Well, you'll notice if you look at the graph, I know the font's very small, but I didn't play nearly as many hands as an overlimp as I did as an ISO raise because you really shouldn't be overlimping that often. You're also going to notice that the win rate isn't nearly as much. So this yielded me a win rate of just under 62 BB per 100, whereas ISO raising was roughly four times higher. Well, why is that? Well, with ISO raising, we're going to be ISO raising with a stronger range of hands. With our weaker hands, we can consider folding or overlimping. So we're gonna overlimp our weaker hands. With ISO raising, we're taking the initiative. When we overlimp, we're not. And also with ISO raising, we're going to make people fold the hand, whereas when we're overlimping, we're not. So we're going to have this issue of declined equity against multiple people. Our equity is going to be diminished. And then also when we get to the flop, ranges are going to be really wide. So we're really not going to know where we're at because nobody has the initiative. We're not narrowing down ranges by raising. And with all that said, plus the possibility of somebody ISO raising us out of the hand pre-flop, it's going to yield us a lower win rate. Now, with all of that said, this is still a viable strategy when the situation is right. And even though it's not nearly as profitable as ISO raising, it still yields a nice profit that can also boost our overall win rate. Now, the whole point of showing you this is that some people will tell you not to limp. I'm showing you that if you do this properly, it's going to boost up your overall win rate. You are going to notice that with your graph, or at least in my situation, there's a lot more ups and downs, and this is kind of all over the place compared to ISO raising just because of everything that I said. So we have to kind of understand that this is going to have more variance in regards to the style of play because we're not going to know where we're at, ranges are wider, and so forth, and we don't have the initiative, and also we're just not playing as strong of hands. But it still yields a very nice win rate. So I just wanted to talk about the profitability in my experience and show to you why I think we should be using overlimping in the correct situations.